far as scientists like population geneticist Elisa are concerned, it means Iceland has a DNA dataset that is unlike anywhere else on Earth. Why does studying the Icelandic population mm -hmm. give you more of an advantage than studying, I don't know, just like a, a sample of people from anywhere else? There are a few things that come together to make this a really valuable study system. Iceland has a really unique genetic history because you don't have a lot of genetic variation entering the population. It, everyone sort of come from the same source. Because they all have the same history. Yes, exactly. I yeah. see. Because the Icelandic population has endured famine and natural disasters, you have this um, series of contractions in the population that then leads to this genetic homogeneousness where everyone's very similar. Know, similar to each other and so the differences really stand out. So is it almost like the Icelandic population sort of acts as its own control group? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And with this natural control group, it is much easier to link specific genes to different diseases. One of the main goals is to find variants that give us clues into how we can treat diseases. So things like Alzheimer's or heart disease or schizophrenia. So you might take a bunch of families where Alzheimer's is not present and compare them to a group of families where Alzheimer's is present and try to find variants that are in higher frequency in one group than in another group. This can accelerate the speed of discovery for diseases like Alzheimer's, genes linked to which have already been found in the Icelandic population. If we can target the product of a gene that we know is connected to Alzheimer's, um, then we have a treatment for this condition. A treatment not just for people here, but all around the world. I mean, this is quite an altruistic I mean, it's sort of a gift that Iceland's giving the world in a way. Yes, yeah, it is. A big proportion of the population is participating. In most countries, large-scale DNA studies struggle for volunteers. In Iceland, over half of the adult population said yes. I think there's something really interesting about an entire population of people who are willing to be the Petri dish for the world. You know, like there's a real generosity to that. Icelanders don't just share a landscape, they share a bloodline, one vast ongoing family history. And I think you can sort of feel that kindred bond between everyone. Whatever the hardship, there is an unspoken solidarity, a collective determination. But then on top of that, whether it's in the way that they approach creating energy or growing food or, you know, in social issues and how progressive they are, I think you can really still feel that sense of them forging their own path. And you can sense that that gives rise to that tetaretus, right? That, 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 that sanguine nature that everyone here has. And I think when you sum up all of those bits, I mean, every country in the world feels unique, but I think Iceland is kind of unique in its uniqueness.